All right, in this video, I want to show you how you can set up a, a Photoshop action that I'm going to provide to you that will allow you to make resized photos for the web in batches. So what you should be doing with your files is keeping originals and then creating a folder of edited photos. So the photo editor or whoever you put in charge of this, could be the individual photographers, needs to go through the photos that they took and select a smaller number uh, and edit those. And then from those, the designers of the print publication will decide what they print. Or if you're online, you know, then the online whoever you put in charge of that, the students, the staff, I mean, or the editors can choose from those because you don't want your students to be sitting at the computer for hours looking through 200 pictures of a basketball game. You want the photographer to choose the best and allow people to select from those. So instead of opening each of those 10 photos from each of those photographers and resizing them for the web, you can do this in a batch. So I always say let robots do it. Um, let robots do as much of the boring work as you possibly can so that your students can be more involved in the excitement, the exciting parts of working for a student publication. So what you should do is download the uh, zip file that is linked right above this video. If you're on YouTube, you need to go to schoolpubs.ballstateinnovation.com and you'll find it there. And then unzip that file and then come into Photoshop and click on Window, Actions to reveal the Actions pane. And then we want to click on the Options here in the upper right hand corner and click Load Actions. And now we're going to select from that zip file the .atn, that's an action, a Photoshop action called Web Photo Sizer. So let's open that and that's now in our Actions panel. Now what we can do is create a folder or find a folder with photos that we want to resize for the web. So let's go to File, Automate, Batch, and we want to select for action. We want to select that, oh sorry, we need to change the set to fo web photo sizer and then the action resize for web. And we want to find that folder with photos that are too large for the web that we want to go on the web. And I've set this action to resize all of the photos as 800 pixels wide. I think that's plenty wide for your site. Most WordPress sites are about 10 80 pixels wide, so this is almost as wide as the site itself. I can't see any reason why you would need a photo that's larger. If it's larger, people might be interested in stealing it and printing it out or something. So I've set it to be 800 pixels wide. So let's find the folder of photos, and I'm going to use as an example some photos from our pet stress relief day. Pet stress relief day here in the Department of Journalism actually the whole college. So I'm going to click on the file, the folder of edited photos. So there's 16 photos that were edited. So I'm going to click on that folder. I'm going to choose it. And then I'm going to choose for destination folder. And I'm going to create a new folder. In this case, I'm just going to put it on the desktop. And I'm going to, going to call it the original folder name, Ellis Pet Day and then web. So I know these are the web photos, not the print photos. I'm going to click Create and then Choose. So now I've set this up so that we're running the action Resize for Web on all of the photos in this folder and we want to save them to a separate folder. We don't want to overwrite the original files in case someone on the print side wants those files later because once we size them for the web, they're too small for print. I'm going to hit OK and you'll actually see the photos are going to be resized automatically. So I'll just let this do its thing. Okay, now I'm going to open that folder of web photos. You can see they're all small now. They're all about 200 kilobytes. Let me show you the originals. The originals. We're all um, 
one and a half megs about. So kind of too big for the website. We don't want to be passing that much information through our WordPress site if we don't have to. So they're all much, much smaller now and they're all sized for the web. So you'll see they're the same. They're all 800, except, uh, oh my gosh. So these are ready to go online and they're in a separate folder. So I know they're different from the print publication. So you'll just want to download that action, load it into your actions panel, and then you can start running these batches. It's a really great way of resizing for the web, put a student in charge of it, and they'll be able to size for the web in like no time. And then from here, they can upload all of these to that media uploader on WordPress. So a great little trick to uh, let robots uh, make your life easier.